In this problem, we're being asked to graph a parabola. And if you haven't seen a parabola before, it's this sort of U shape that has these arms that extend on towards uh, infinity on either side. And this point where it just touches the bottom of the parabola, that's called the vertex. So that's the shape we're dealing with. This basic function is described by the equation y equals x squared. And uh, if you were just going to plot y equals x squared, you'd have a vertex at 0, 0, and these arms going up on either side. That would be your basic parabola. In this case, we're graphing uh, parabolas that have something multiplied by the x squared. And this is not too tough to graph. They're asking us to plot the vertex and four other points, which maybe sounds like a lot of work, except in parabolas, the points always come in pairs. So if you find a point over here, you've basically got the point over here. So. Also, the vertex is a given on these. Unless you see uh, some additional number added or subtracted at the end, the vertex of this parabola, or some uh, number inside parentheses and the thing squared, the vertex is going to be at 0, 0. So for problems like this in this form, y equals ax squared, your vertex is 0, 0. You can verify that mathematically. If you put in a 0 in this equation for x, x uh, 0 squared is 0 times 5 fourths is 0, so y equals 0. OK, so that's our vertex right there at the origin. And I think the best way to go about this is really just to plug in some values for x. You may want to get a selective about what you plug in for x, depending on what you have to uh, multiply here. If you don't mind the fractions, you can just go ahead and plug in any old values. I'm going to start with 1. 1 squared is 1 times 5 fourths. It's just 5 fourths. So our y value for that is 5 fourths. So if we were to plot that, 1 and 5 fourths would be about here. Now, if I put in the negative counterpart of this value, a negative 1, I'm going to get the same exact thing because one, negative 1 squared is a positive 1. So we're going to get this point over here, negative 1, 5 fourths. And then let's choose one more point. We'll put in 2. This is a nice, easy one for the math. 2 squared is 4. 5 fourths times 4, well, the 4s will cancel. And this is just a value of 5 for y. And likewise, if I put in negative 2, I'll get the same y value. So we've got 2, 5, and 2, negative, or negative 2, 5. So there's our four points. So we can sketch in our arms of our parabola. Hopefully, you can sketch it in a little less squiggly than I did there. And that is how you go about graphing a parabola in this form of y equals ax squared.